Am I the only one who thinks that Golden City and the Scorching Sun sounds like a One Piece X Zelda type adventure? Yes, you are. You ever say something as dumb as that again, you're canceled for the community forever. I mean, dog, I was just trying to shut your ass up and do the damn with you. What's good, y'all? It's your main man, Master Sir here, leader of the Master Knights of the Round Table of Company One. Hit that spin move, and we are back with May and Abyss. Which, if some of you may have seen my impressions video, I was surprised when I saw this on there because I completely forgot. Never forgot about the show, but forgot when it was coming out. Don't blame me. And we have a turn, yes, to Team Rico. Kinda. I mean, they were in it, but kinda. Because taking us to the stage is a new crew on some new ish, doing some new things. Now, before we get into that, May in the Abyss, yes, has returned. When it first showed up, it was one of the best shows, if not the best show of that year. Captivating animation and character design. Very interesting story. And very brazen in some cases. And that, this is, well, very brazen in some cases. Some I'm gonna get into later. However, one thing about Made in Abyss that has made it prevalent amongst the community is indeed the adventure itself inside the show. So when you hear something like the Golden City of the Source and Sun, damn. You just automatically know just from that Made in Abyss is about to take it there. Now, of course, there's other cats going to the Golden City. I apologize now, about to mess these names up. Draco, I think, was like Bailey or Bailiff, the Bailey from Pokemon, was it? Ah! And of course, when they actually got to, well, almost got to where it was going, they met that other person that they want to call the slave, but the officer was part of the tribe. But I just watched a weird ass movie yesterday where those things kind of intertwined. The Land of Time Forgot it was a movie I watched that fucked my life up yesterday. And honestly, the story is centered around these four characters because they got the most screen time. I mean, they got a whole squad with them, yes, but it's one of those things where. It may be the best that extra characters are more likely going to get picked off anyway, so y'all are the ones that's going to survive. Now, interesting things about these characters are put out just at the beginning. The way that Renko and Bala was having their conversation about what they believe was beautiful. Talking about beauty, ill but beauty was in the eyes of the beholder. As in what interests people is about what they see, blah, blah, blah. It kind of that, you know, mentality of the way you see a person, a whole person in such regard, is really just an image that you created for that person in your mind as it is. That image is a fabrication made by you, even if you're con conscious of it or unconscious of it. That is what you chose to hold as regard. That's what you chose to be beautiful. Very interesting way to put about it. Not exactly new, but it's not really something I see mentioned a lot in anime, to be honest. So really just straight up refreshing. So I'll jump, I like these characters. I kind of, you know, find that inner beauty in herself. Because, you know, she said ugly body of hers and all that stuff, blah, blah, blah. Really not something a woman should say, first and foremost. And also, these are open for a lot of characters over there. Because she's the one everybody's pushing for. Well, she had the compass. Well, had the compass. Why you give up the compass? But they're marching on to the Golden City. They gave up the compass. Nami I mean, will never appreciate that. But, you know, main character is they're going to find it. Speaking of, when we got back to seeing Rego, you know, Rico, Reg, the boy Reg, Nana she, speaking of butchering names, right? I'm sorry, y'all. When they came through that portal thing, blah, 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 that way a portal with their means of transportation. At the same time, the other folks jumped through there. I had to look up clarification to make sure this wasn't some kind of parallel universe type ish. And even after doing that, I still don't know. Which almost made me second guess even doing this video. I'm sorry if I'm wrong, y'all. It's first impressions. However, this was really the moment where we got back to that old G made it the best feeling. And it was for a couple of reasons. First, of course, the interaction between the three of them, you know, Ray, Nala, she, and Rico. Them using them normal mannerism, blah, 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 that carry, helped carry the show the whole time. And speaking of what I was speaking on earlier, there is indeed that one scene where they emphasize on Rico using the restroom. It's a bold move for series like these to make, especially with children. Cause there's themes to be addressed here. This is one of the themes made a bit simply focus on. Cause there was plenty of time in season one where we saw Rico peeing. And now she's doing both with all the sound effects in there. Pointed out that it was a quiet room where you were able to hear everything. One of the things where it does add to the realism of the situation that we're in right now, it could easily be used for dramatic effect, but I had this critique in the first place. So when it was happening, and here it is again. That, that is not necessary to put it in. That's not a scene I see people rewinding and be like, oh, look at this, y'all. If it is, bruh, there are times where telling that show works. But anyways, that wasn't enough smack in the face for you to realize the main business back. 
Bay of the Bitches back. There's a lot of people online, you know, anticipating the season. You know, people who actually know what's about to happen just want to watch the anime film. So, we, once again, here in Golden City of the Scorching Sun, things are about to pop off. Hard to believe we're going to spend a whole season in this fight, but mm, we got a whole new crew to fuck up. Old new cast of main characters, we got a break in, and the OGs coming through on that amazing bitch shit, trying to put it all together. If the hype ain't real, I don't know what show you've been watching. Leave the rest of the video, leave me a comment, I don't know what you think. Like this video on me, and I'll see y'all on main bitch back. Spend food. Oh, I always pause for it on the end. I gotta keep talking now. So, about that song they played in the middle.